y'all doing? Hope everybody's feeling good and great and all of that. You smile at him, nod at him, keep riding. You see him later because he want to stop by when he sees you off the chain looking good too. You even got his bitch want to freak you. Don't trust no nigga, no, no. You can't trust no nigga, no, no. Don't trust no nigga, no, no. You can't trust no motherfucker. Get gone. And y'all know today is the day is sex. <laughs> Tip. Bitch sex tip Tuesday. Bitch. See what well, y'all know how I do it. I just jump right into it. Can we talk about seeing the big picture? Do some of you ladies see the big picture? Especially if you're in a relationship with a, a man, right? Y'all in a relationship. Cause this is a true story of somebody that I know who have who had experienced this. Now he is a truck driver and he has a wife that he that uh she she, she kept she's a kept woman, so you know that's what they do. You know he he does that, so he he's all around moving around the United States, not home that often. Uh, and um, so she was home alone, and while she home alone, I guess. She feeling all alone. I'm all alone. And so she's all alone. Excuse me. And what and what she do? She done found her somebody else to tickle her motherfucking coochie. Tickle her coochie. Scratch her coochie. And then, so when the husband comes home, like uh he finds a wallet in the car. Like he's a he's a he's a he's a man, you know what I'm saying? So he went, he was like he saw the 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 wallet, saw the ID. So she was like begging, the wife was like begging, no no no, I'm gonna take you know whatever. I guess she telling whatever's happened. He was like, no, I'm taking this to this man because it was in our car, our car that she allowed him to come in. So since you allowed him to come in at and you're my wife, I'm taking him his wallet. So he takes him his wallet. He does the man thing, like a straight man thing. Ain't no you you just man doesn't equate violence. So it was none of that. He took him his thing politely, knocked on the door, took him his shit politely, and walked away. Didn't ask no questions or nothing. Cause he already know they fucking. This bitch, your wallet is in my motherfucking car. And then of course he got a divorce. See, sometimes you bitches don't see the big picture. Now, of course, you can get lonely or what and, and, and all of that. But do you see the big picture? What he's doing, he's working for you to have this roof over your head. So you can have food. So you can go and do the, the your, your 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 leisure time with you and your girlfriends or whatever you want to do. That that's for you. My but then like this is this is my dude. Like, I'm not my dude like that. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, and I never cheated on her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I was married and I and I am committed to this relationship. But you know, she did that. Now fuck the whole shit up. And then of course, like he immediately went and got divorced. Cause now he don't he don't have no trust for you. I guess like that was a deal breaker for him. You know what I'm saying? Especially like a, a person, a man who's working really hard and he's doing this for you, for y'all, and then you go do that. There is no trust. So, ladies, sometimes you have to you have to see the, the bigger picture, right? Of course, there will be times when you may be lonely. There will be times when you be like, yeah, oh, whatever. I don't know. I feel like whatever I feel because he's not here. But the big picture is he's there for you. To take care of you. Well, you too. The family. But you didn't get that part. So everybody get, people get lost on that shit. Like, I just don't, like, I'll be like, what the? What do y'all think about that shit? So the sex tip is, when you're in a relationship, see the big picture. 
the big picture. And if you are tipping out, and I done told y'all this, like, like I am not trying to tell anybody how to cheat, but I just give my information from observation and from real stories. You gonna fuck somebody else, you have to be clever about that shit. If you value your relationship and you don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because you get a little something on the side to interfere with what you got going on at home. So there's ways in which you can do that. There's a check off. You got to check shit off. Like, no, nope, man, make sure this ain't happening. This ain't clean this shit up. Your pussy got to be clean. Like, all the shit. Shit got, you know what I'm saying? Man, if it's a man, dick got to be clean. You got to make sure this bitch don't call your phone. Like, all the shit. You got to have the shit under control. That's if you value your relationship. I really want us to get to a point. I keep saying this and I will forever say this because I really do believe in this. Is for people, once you're in a relationship, to be able to have a conversation about you being attracted to someone else without your emotions getting involved. Of course, we all are emotional beings. But what do we have to work on daily? It's the big five, I tell you, all the time. Your mental, the way you process information, your emotional, emotional, how you handle shit. Like, don't, don't deal with your emotions. I mean, not, not to not deal with your emotions. Don't let your emotions overcome your decision-making, your, your spiritual, your connection with the, with the most high, your, your physical, the, you taking care of your body, working out and eating, right? Because you know they got that goddamn plastic food y'all out here. This shit is crazy as hell. And your financial. It's important that you're working on those things every day. So, so because when you're working on those things every day, you're able to have intelligent conversations about subjects that may make somebody else in a relationship cringe. Because once you have those in things, like those are those five things intact. Your, your horizons just broaden. You have you and then once you finalize what you want, like in relation and understand sexuality and people. Because all this shit is a, it's people. Like how do how do people move? And everybody move different. There be some people who say that they ain't never been in a, you know, that I have spoken to that been in relationships that they ain't never been outside their relationship. But yet they they got but they have an understanding. They bring people in their bedroom. So they, they don't feel like they're actually going outside because both of the partners are involved. But they're still fucking somebody else. You understand what I'm saying? So I really I, I really want people to, 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 to be able to get to that point. But the point of the matter is, is to see the big picture. Especially if you got some somebody who loves you, who care about you and whatnot. And if you do decide to, to cheat, bitch, don't get caught. If you value your relationship. And how do you not get caught? There's a checkoff list, bitch. There's a whole bunch of shit. You, you got to figure out your checkoff list. There's no phone calls. There's no don't leaving no shit in the car, the house, wherever the fuck you fucking. Pussy clean, dick clean. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and all the other things. No marks on the body. No sex. Nothing. But what do y'all think about that? What do you think about the big picture and, and holding the fort down for your man or for your woman if they're not at home? And, and hell, if you if your dick or your dick get get hot, pussy get hot, you can always masturbate. The mind is a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You can think of all types of shit. Let your mind just go. Whatever your fantasies are. And let me tell y'all something, too. I think people got shit confused. Like, a fantasy don't necessarily mean it has to come true. It's a fucking fantasy. Just like when you see movies that's a fantasy movie, that's some shit that's unbelievable, that you know ain't gonna ever... That, that That's not necessarily possible. That's like what a fantasy is about something that, that you have conjured in your mind. Well, whatever that is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know it's not really realistic, but, you know, it gets you off. So my sex tip for the day is see the big picture in your relationship. And if you two value each other, value each other. Because it's important to have someone in, on, on your corner, in your side. Someone who loves you and adore you from both parties. I'm not just speaking from a woman's perspective. A man too. Because it takes two. 
You know, I ain't talking about you people in your polyamorous motherfucking relationships. I, that's another talk for another motherfucking day because that, that shit is too fucking one-sided for me. Because how's a, That's another talk for another day. Let me know what y'all think. Well, anyway, y'all know my name is Real. I'm Intimacy Coach Slash Seductions with the Service Called Seductive Art and Latex in the Michigan area. I'll be in Flint, Michigan. I'm having my Seductive Art Workshop. You can go here and get all the details. You're paying at the door. It's only $15. There's wine will be served as well as I will um giving out giveaways. So I hope y'all come and join me. It's going to be fun, informative, and, and girls night, ladies night. And I also think that I don't have an age limit. I think you should bring your girls that 16 years old. They can, they can handle the conversation. Sex is a part of fucking life. We cannot stop like, but I mean, well, that's up to you. I'm not trying to tell you nobody what to do. If you feel like that's it's too much, for you, then that's fine too. Um, as well as I'm an author, the title of my book is called Quickie is Seven Short Erotic Stories. Um, read why you fuck, fuck why you read. As well as I'm a designer, name my brand is real nice by, by real. I have swimwear available right now on Etsy, and I'll have some new things coming. Hopefully, I'll have posted up tonight. If not tonight, definitely tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I want to say thank you to all those who have subscribed thus far. Y'all, shout out to you. Mwah, mwah, just mad love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if I resonate with you, you hit that, click that. I appreciate that. We're trying to get it up, get the numbers up. You get in the algorithm because I'm, you know what I'm saying? My shit is like on a low scale. We got to get ambitious, dropping mad jewels. Like, stop, don't play with me. From, from black women, from this black woman's perspective and from our stories. Because this all these stories are not mine. They're not mine. The majority of this is other people's stories who have shared their shit with me. That I'm sharing with you. And giving you solutions. And also, y'all know how we lead this motherfucker. Be kind. Be generous. Be on time. Be focused. Be confident. Be humble. Be loving. Be patient. Be boisterous. Be opinionated. Be a part of your community. Black people. Be black and proud. Be about your motherfucking money. Be healthy. Work, be well mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, and emotionally. Because all we're talking about is, is high frequency shit. And what is high frequency shit? To the most high. That, that's, that's where we at. We ain't on no low vibrational shit. That's not a part of who we are. And in the midst of you doing all that, all this positivity... Don't you fold. Don't you think twice. Don't you people around the corner. And that is, you always be you. Because you is what makes you unique. Until we meet again, y'all have a great night. Peace.